Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to talk to you guys about how to reclaim some of your time as you go about your day and you want to check up on what the latest news that's relevant to you is. Um, and the tool we're going to be kind of demonstrating in this video is Feedly. Now there are multiple tools that are very similar to this. Feedly is one of the more well-known ones. And what tools like Feedly do is they allow you to basically set up a custom uh, feed that combines the sites that you actually want to read and kind of in a way tosses everything else out by not showing you the other stuff around the internet that you don't really care about but that you might click on normally. So if you were to go to a regular news site um, without logging in, without customizing it or anything like that, there's going to be dozens and dozens of articles, uh, tons more coming out. You can easily waste an entire day on it. But if you use a tool like Feedly, rather than seeing everything, you instead add uh, the feeds from the specific sites that you enjoy reading or listening to. So in this case, I have two podcast feeds set up, one from Free Domain Radio and the other from The Survival Podcast. I enjoy them both, and I do want to be updated when those places uh, basically release new content. However, um, then there's just all those other sites that I don't really care about or I don't need to see on a regular basis. So in order to reduce the amount of time I just waste on the news there, it's a much smoother idea to do something like going to Feedly, setting up for an account, which basically ties your profile together, and to add in sources, which can be from a URL. So any site that has an RSS feed, which is... In general, basically anything that has a blogging article platform, there's going to be an RSS link for it somewhere. And you can just add that in, and then Feedly will basically ping those different services and bring back the information, the latest articles, the latest news pieces, so that you can read them all in one place without getting loaded up with all the other stuff. Um, now here on Feedly, you can see that you can basically browse some different categories. So let's just say we were dealing with news. What news sites do you enjoy? Uh, do you want CNN, the New York Times? Uh, basically, the idea here is you just add the ones that you actually respect, that you enjoy reading, and you discount all the other stuff. Um, now, you could say, yes, well, that's going to give you kind of a skewed picture of the world, because then you don't have every single news source coming at you. But honestly, your time is more valuable than that. Um, you don't want to get in the habit of just wasting hours upon hours in your day uh, just looking at news or looking at random articles or social media posts. So instead of just adding all of them, just grab the few that you do want. When you add them, and I'll just go ahead and add uh, one, you create a collection. So we'll just say news. Create that. And then whenever you actually want to see the news from the sites that you enjoy, uh, you go over here click on your category, and it's going to show you the most popular ones by default. You can see the posts from today down here, um, blah, blah, blah. Now, uh, let's see. You, you, there's also a way to uh, make it just always show the latest ones. So if you click here on this drop-down menu, you can choose the latest, and in that way, you just check every once in a while. You get updates from the sites you actually care about, and you reduce the amount of time that you're browsing basically hundreds of sites, and you just condense it down to the few sites you actually do enjoy. Um, so yeah, that's basically uh, the gist of how Feedly works. Uh, once again, there's other tools that are very similar to this. Uh, you can pull apps out of the Windows 10 store. Oh, jeez, I can't remember the name of it, but there was one for Windows 10 that I did review before. Um, shoot, if I can remember it, I'll put a link to the name of it down in the comments, uh, the description section below. But yeah, I'm just showing you the general idea here. If there are sites you really care about, throw all the other stuff out the window and use a uh, basically a feed combiner like this in order to make it so that you only focus on those sites that actually are relevant to you and forget everything else because it's not worth the time investment to just go spend hours upon hours looking through the internet. So uh, I've been Chris. I hope that this video has had some um, beneficial information for you guys, and I hope that you avoid uh, just wasting your life looking at the news all the time. Or it doesn't have to even be the news. It could just be social media posts or whatever. 
Um, kind of go read it, be done with it, move on with your life. But in any case, I've been Chris, this is Feedly, and I will see you guys in my future video content.